2020. What a year it has been so far. There are easily a multitude of different things I could talk about right now, but as this is an aviation channel, I think it best we stick to that. So let's not waste any time and get straight into things. It should come as no surprise that this year has been one of the worst for the aviation industry, if not the worst. Airlines have been shattered financially to the point where not even the aftermath of the 9-11 terrorist attacks can compete. The COVID-19 pandemic has left airlines hanging by a thread, presenting losses of up to a quarter of a trillion dollars this year, bankruptcies, or simply airlines being forced to close their doors altogether. As CEO of Qatar Airways points out, it is truly survival of the fittest, serving as a hallmark to the fact that not even an airline of the richest country in the world is immune. But what airlines are at most risk? Well, just like the virus, it's indiscriminate. Everyone is affected, from cheap budget operators to rich national carriers. According to Bloomberg, these airlines are at most risk of going under within the next two years. However, predictions are predictions and are open to reinterpretations and an ever-flowing change in circumstances. Moreover, the calculations don't take into account government bailouts or other funding sources which may help keep operators alive. But needless to say, things are not looking good right now. And the repercussions of the virus don't stop there. Norwegian and Air France KLM have both landed below the threshold, as have American Airlines and SkyWest. Pakistan Airlines have indicated that their losses have become unbearable and have asked their government to pitch in either via a debt-to-equity swap or long-term bond. Asiana Airlines is leaning onto Korea Development Bank with a loan of $1.3 billion, and Norwegian is in the works of acquiring a government lifeline worth up to $270 million. Hundreds of airlines, such as United Airlines, British Airways, Aer Lingus, Finnair, and Air New Zealand have all made major budget cuts after countries closed their borders and forced airlines to ground their fleets and reduce capacity. Willie Walsh, the head of IAG, has decided to postpone his retirement to help steer the group through the crisis. And the Center for Aviation stated that by the end of May, many airlines would be going bankrupt, a statement that has, to some extent, become true. Air Italy, Compass Airlines, German Wings, and South African Airways are among the first to go bankrupt, as I'm sure many others will follow. But not all hope is lost. As with most things, there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Among others, these airlines are best equipped to last more than a year without government support, according to Credit Suisse. In the US, Delta Airlines and Southwest have among the best balance sheets in the industry and are likely to survive without any major calamities. And once things get back to normal and people start flying again, even the airlines that are struggling should be able to get back on their feet. But at this point, we'll just have to wait it out and see. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video and found it informative. This video serves as a Kickstarter to my channel rebranding initiative, which as you may have noticed includes a new logo as well as a few new animations. It has been quite a while since I've uploaded these kinds of videos, and I want to make sure that going forward I'm staying fresh and up to date, both in content and in the quality of my videos. If you have any suggestions on how I can better achieve this, please feel free to comment below or to my email, which is linked in the description. Last but not least, I hope you all are doing well and staying safe during these trying times. Cheers.